Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of What's Shaving with Angela. I'm Angela, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And I'm going to be using some products for some certain products I'm going to be using for the first time ever. So, and that's mainly the software. So the software I'm going to be using, Shave Soap of Choice, Razor Rocks, Irish Countryside. This is their take on the much more expensive fragrance, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And I couldn't find much of a description for the scent of this soap, except it's refreshing and green. And to my nose, it is very refreshing, very green scented soap. And I, I would say it's a nice clean scent. A nice clean scent. Can't wait to use that for the first time. After Shave of Choice, this one comes from my birth year, 1985. Avon's Ferrard Pour Homme. This is their aftershave format. And the scent notes on Ferrard Pour Homme is top notes are lemon, bergamot, lavender. Mid notes are cardamom and applewood. Base notes are leather, patchouli, musk, oak moss, cedar, and vetiver. And a little back... Oh, I'm sorry. Got a little sweat in my eye. Sorry. A little backstory about Ferrar Torham when it when it was when it launched in 1985. In that year, it won the Fifi Award in 1985 for fragrance of the year and and best packaging of the year for men's popular fragrance. It was it was manufactured by from a famous fragrance artist Louis Ferrar at at the time exclusively for Avon in 1985 till 1992 when he decided to take the fragrance and sell it himself. So that's the software I'm going to be using. Hardware. Like once again, I'm going to be using my Simpsons Traflagar T3 Synthetic Shave Brush. I'm really, I'm really, the more I use it, the more I love it. It's just an excellent budget shave brush. And it does the job very well. And all another thing from my birth year. Not only birth year, but birth quarter. The Razor of Choice. The Gillette Black Handle Super Speed from, first, fourth, from, from the fourth quarter of 1985. With, loaded with a fresh Gillette Platinum Blade. So I already had my shower. I'm going to wet the face, lather up, and shave with the first pass with the green. How's everyone doing out there? Everyone having good shaves out there? Let us know in the comments. And this is shave... I believe nine of, or day nine of Avon April for me, where I use a different Avon product, or a different Avon aftershave every day of the month of April. So for those, for those keeping track, this is shave nine of 30 shaves of Avon April. Where I use the various save on products, where it's just vintage shave soap or vintage aftershave, mainly vintage aftershaves, but sometimes a, a shave soap too, as I have, as I've used before. Time to lather up. And as I've mentioned before on past videos, Razor Rock is an excellent bang for your buck. Oh, that's a nice smell right there. Very refreshing, very clean. Just a lovely, refreshing springtime scent. This Irish countryside by Razor Rock, which again was inspired by Creed, it, which again was inspired by Creed's Green Irish Tweed scent, which the Green Irish Tweed fragrance, from what I've researched, about all that stuff goes for like three hundred bucks at any given time, whereas Razor Rock's aftershave format. Of this, or Razor Rock's take on Green Irish Tweed runs for their aftershave format, runs about sixteen dollars. The shave soap twelve bucks right now, and you get bang for your buck on both products. The aftershave and at least with the Razor Rock product, you get serious bang for your buck. Getting lather everywhere as always. That's all right. And this brush is just, if you, if you ever get a chance to buy one of the Trafalgar line of Simpson Shade brushes, I recommend you invest in them. They're not, they're very affordable to pick up, even stateside. 
Like I bought this one from West Coast Shaving a while back for twenty with a discount, twenty three dollars and change that they had going on on their on their site at one point. And because it was a new item at the time, I got free shipping on it by itself. With West Coast, since West Coast Shaving does a lot of free shipping on brand new items, regardless of price. And overall, free shipping on any order of $45 or more. So that's it. All right, we're laddered up. We're going to go for the first pass with the green. For those wondering, I have 24 hours worth of stubble to shave. So far, good shave. But then again, anytime I shave with a, with a Gillette Super Speed of any type, I always get a good shave, generally speaking. And that's why my first recommendation video that I did months ago, I did two recommendation videos of like razors that I think a beginner what shaver should start with. Sorry about that. But anyways, in my first big razor recommendation, I recommended two different super speeds because I thought at the time super speeds are a great razor to start with. Still feel that way to this day that a super speed is an excellent razor to begin with, as long as you take the time to clean it up and disinfect it. As far as the black handle super speeds are concerned, the one I'm using, this one I picked up on eBay for $16 with free shipping. So they're affordable to find online. And you may even be lucky enough to have a family member have an old super speed that you could use yourself. It's always, it's always a great feeling to shave with something that has a piece of family history. Okay, that was the first pass. Time to ladder for the second time and do the second pass across the green. A few days ago, I ordered from Phoenix Shaving. 
There's four, there's switchback 400 shave brush handle along with a 24 millimeter suave synthetic knot. So, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to experiment with, cause I, I've heard it's easy to glue a hand, a knot to a shave brush handle. So I thought, what the heck? And I saw the switchback 400, which is their take on the rubber set 400 handle from years past. And I've been looking at it for a long time. Last time I saw the, sw the PAA Switchback 400 was available was about a year and a half ago. A year, year and a half ago, I think. And it's been sold out for a long time. So then I decided when when Douglas Smith announced the Switchback 400 was up for sale, at first I was hesitant because I was like, "Do I really know what I'm doing?" But then after watching some YouTube videos. And talking with Fran of the company on their message board or messaging thing, I decided what the heck I can easily glue and I could easily glue a knot into a brush handle. So I ordered, I believe it was Monday, I ordered the PA Switchback 400 handle along with, um, blah, 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 along with. This 24 millimeter suave knot, synthetic knot, and I ordered on Amazon some two in one, or yeah, two in one epoxy from from the company Loctite. I heard that's good stuff. And it should be an easy job. So uh, you will see, you may see later in the future a video where I'm shaving, lathering up with my new Switchback 400 with Suave Synthetic Knot by PA. And actually, Douglas Smythe commented on, said to me that I was the, I, funny thing was when I placed my order for the Switchback 400, I ordered the very last one that was available on his website. Like the very last one. He says. So I was very lucky to get a place my order in when I did. That was the second pass across the grain. We're going to ladder up a third time for against the grain. But before that, I just got to stop. I got to use my stiffy pencil for a tiny little cut that I just noticed. Better stop it now. Well, well better start, stop the bleeding now than let it bleed out more and more. All right. But yeah, nowadays with Razor Rock Shave Soaps, they have a new super formula. Or I forget what the exact name. I should have wrote down what the name of the formula was 
whether it was super formula or super tower formula, it was some sort of super formula. And I'm really enjoying the performance of their new super formula. A lot slicker than previous in incarnations of Razor Rock soaps I've used. Much easier to lather, even though Razor Rock soaps were already easy enough to lather on their own. They made it even easier to lather. Time for the third pass, final pass against the green. With my birth year and quarter Gillette Razor. Super Speed Black Handle. 1985 fourth quarter. And we're finished the shaving part of the video. Now I just gotta rinse my face off, dry it off, and apply the Avon Farad Porham aftershave. Yeah, I gotta say it was a really good shave today. Yeah, very little, di very tiny amount of damage done. It seems like didn't seem like it wasn't bleeding out as badly as I sometimes have. You know, but then again, anytime I use a Gillette Super Speed, I always get a very good, at, at the very least, I get a damn fine shave. But often not, often more like today, I got big but smooth shave. It seems like. Now for my first use of a vintage Avon for old poor harm after she give it a little shake to mix up the ingredients. Let's see here. Oh, that's nice. It smells very nice, just rubbing between my, 
very, you know, this for all poor home, home would be perfect for springtime weather, just like the Irish countryside shave soap I used by Razor Hawk. Actually, this, this, the aftershave rather complements the shave soap fairly well. Both greenish shave scented soaps, or both greenish scented products, and they just smell very springtime. Well, everyone, that's it for today. Have a good shave and have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.